Hey there everybody, Matt O'Ree back here with you once again. Welcome back to Mob on TV, the official YouTube channel for the Matt O'Ree Band. Hey look, if you haven't clicked subscribe yet and joined the Mob family here on YouTube, please do so now. Also hit that little bell icon down below so you'll get all the updates every time we upload new videos. And thirdly, if you dig this kind of stuff, gear, pedals, microphones, amps, tubes, guitars, give us some thumbs up on the videos. All these things help me to continue to keep making more videos and bringing them to you. So we're back today. Today's Friday, and like I said, this week is kind of wacky. I uh, hope you've been enjoying the performance videos we've been putting out too. Uh, we're actually back with Tech Talk today, not the gear tutorial. And there's a reason for that, but it's still tied to the gear tutorial because we're still talking about tone. So my buddy Jim, that's been lending me pedals for the channel as of lately, uh, he has a production model, Les Paul, Gibson Les Paul, uh, from the 90s. And he was complaining about the pots and the taper that is in this particular guitar and how it wasn't really reacting like he would like it to with his amplifier including, of course, with gain. So when you back off your volume knob, you want the volume knob to clean up the gain tones. Now, we know with train wreck equipment that it's all about the taper of the volume pot as to the response of the amplifier in terms of gain versus clean tones. That's what Ken's original idea was, that whole interaction between the player and the amplifier should feel like you're driving a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. And it does, to me, it absolutely does. So I got the guitar here at my house and I did uh, a run through with the guitar um, showing you incrementally uh, on the guitar one through 10 uh, with different chords and then different licks and then also showing you what it sounds like when you turn the uh, tone pots all the way down for that woman tone of Eric Clapton. So I did round one, then I changed out the pots. I do round two so we can compare what the new pots uh, that I put in the guitar. Now I recommend it to Jim, uh, a company called RS Guitar Works in Kentucky. Uh, I've been a big supporter of those guys for years. Uh, love their stuff. I've always had great success with their pots. Uh, and that's what we put in this guitar. So let's jump into it. Let's see what the difference is in these two different pots. The original Gibson OEM pots versus what CTS is, I believe CTS is making for RS Guitar Works. I'm pretty sure they are. Um, and they make a whole uh, pre-wired uh, assembly that just drops right into the Les Paul. So let's check it out. Here we go.
being greedy when you're you're thinking you're right and you double back to swing So what did you think? The OEM Gibson Pots versus the CTS ones that are made for RS Guitar Works. Uh, I think that the RS definitely brightened up the Les Paul. I thought it was a bit dark in the, in the uh, 
the way it used to be uh, already. So I think the pots really helped in terms of tone. I think the taper is much better, especially you can hear it on the train wreck. We'll have to let Jim be the deciding factor and how it reacts to his amplifier at home. I hope it does what he was hoping it to do. Uh, had fun putting the pots in. I have another set of pots here that I've had for almost a year and I haven't gotten to it from a company called uh, Vintage Inspired. The original pots in the original Les Pauls in the 50s uh, were, were made by Centra Lab. And uh, this company, uh, Vintage Inspired, claims that their pots are the exact same taper as what the Centra Lab ones are. I don't doubt them. I haven't had a chance to try them yet. So we are going to do a part two of comparing pots in this um, Tech Talk series to uh, the Centra Lab uh, in, or Vintage Inspired. Uh, I don't have real Centra Lab pots here, but we will compare the uh, Vintage Inspired to the RS pots that are in one of my Les Pauls. So we're going to have a round two. So hope you got something out of this video uh, and heard the difference between the Gibson pots and the RS pots. So uh, once again, visit our website, mattoreband.com. Uh, any thoughts or questions, don't be afraid to email me at info at mattoreband.com. Don't forget, Sunday, another couch concert coming up. This is a big one. This one is sponsored by the Stone Pony, a classic, classic rock club in Asbury Park, New Jersey, where we perform at a lot. And they're hosting our show this Sunday. So we're going to be streaming on our social media platforms and their social media platforms simultaneously this Sunday. It's going to be an awesome show. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday, I have another performance video of the wife and I doing a really cool Eric Clapton song. Uh, so stay tuned. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you Sunday. I'll be back Monday with the Gear Torio. Hang tight. We'll see you then.